2024 hunt seasons were set by the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission last month, and hunters have reason to be optimistic about success in the field this fall. And to be sure, mule deer license availability will be limited in some areas of the state. Antelope numbers have had some setbacks, but show signs of turning around. And elk, well, it's good to be an elk hunter in Wyoming these days. Game and Fish Deputy Wildlife Chief Doug Bremeyer says mule deer opportunity in the Black Hills will be slightly better. But remnants of the 2022-23 winter are still present in other herds, like in western Wyoming, where he says license availability and season length will be conservative. And so we're, we're basically down a couple age classes. So if you look at the structure of a deer population, you've got different ages of deer throughout that, what you would see on the landscape. And we're missing a few of those age classes because of those severe winters we've had in 2017 and 18, as well as 2022 and 23. So um, we're pretty conservative um, across, the, across the board with mule deer management. Antelope license availability also was impacted by the 22-23 winter. Hunt areas 85 and 86 are closed this fall, and licenses in adjoining areas going conservative as well. It's no secret elk numbers, though, are healthy in Wyoming, with some areas over-objective. Brimeyer says some changes are coming for elk hunters this fall. With elk, this year the big change is going to be a Type 8, which is an unlimited number of licenses that a person can hold for um, cow-calf elk. And the other big change this year for hunters to be aware of is there's, there's going to be three non-resident regions this year. So there's an eastern region, a southern region, and in a western region where um, non-residents can apply for a general license and then they'll have to hunt within that area of the state that's designated as eastern, southern, or, or western. Bighorn sheep hunters will get opportunity to hunt ewes in a handful of regions and younger rams, type 2 licenses with less than three-quarter curl. These measures are designed to reduce the risk of disease, which has limited sheep numbers in recent years. Also, a reminder goes out to sage-grouse hunters that a new free permit is required. The permit needed to track the number of hunters in the field, how many are non-residents, and it gives the department the opportunity to better survey hunters. Seasons are now posted on the Wyoming Game and Fish Department website. Residents have until May 31st to modify or withdraw their hunting applications. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.